Wanna play with me? All you need is a PC. Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Football Manager 2018. We filed FC from non-league to the Prem. This is episode 2 guys. If you've not seen episode 1, please go on my channel. Have a look at that. I uh, just want to talk about a few things before we get into today's game. Um, <clears throat> if we go to our schedule. Um, we finished on the Chester game. Um, I said I'll go through a few highlights on here. Uh, played Ebb's Fleet. We played them away. We got a 0-0 draw. The um, the possession was, you know, even. You know, they, they had more shots, stuff like that. Uh, but it was, a, it was a good away point. Don't forget, this is our first season in this league, ever. So, you know, we we wasn't totally ripped apart. We got a decent draw. And then we was at home to Maidenhead. We drew two all at home. I think they scored in the last last few minutes, wasn't it? Yeah, in the 86th minute. I took the lead in the 83rd. They took the lead in the 86th minute. Um, I played very well. 16 shots on target. 7 on target. Um, my fouls have come down a lot, you know, I was I was getting like 21, I took the um, hard tackling off, uh, dominated the game, 54% possession to their 46, it was a good all round game, disappointed we didn't pick up the three points, because I, pl I felt we played very, very well, and then we played Dagenham and Redbridge at home again, another draw, but we went five league games un unbeaten, which was, you know, it was good, Danny Roke, um, equalising the 80th minute again we're the home team you know we had the better possession more shots on target um, again it was it was another good game um, one that we dominated and we should have got all three points from but you know this is football manager you know any, any, anything can happen um, we're currently 10th in the league so my main aim this season is you know to, to keep us up but I believe that we're better than that and I believe um, if I could get a top half finish this season, I'd be happy with that. I'd be, I'd be really happy with that because then we can build um, on for next season. But then we played Hartlepool away. We did lose 2-1. Um, <laughs> I can't believe this. We played okay. Um, they, did, they did dominate the game. Obviously, had more shots than that. It was a lot more Hartlepool. But we took our chance with uh, Lewis Montrose in the 75th minute to make it 1-1 and then that that was it then I felt you know we was going to get a point from the game against a tough Hartlepool who was playing league football last season um, and then Nicky um, Devedick scored in the 94th minute and it was only 93 minutes um, added time so where they got a, another minute from and I've, I've also noticed as well in this series um, well in, in FM18 in general and I'd like to know your feedback if if you felt the same, um, when when the referee does add time on, like in previous uh, football managers, you know, it's two minutes, three minutes. Th this season, I've been getting six minutes added time, seven minutes added time, five minutes added time. It's It's been quite bizarre. But yeah, so I was looking for a positive response from this game because we did do all okay. I thought, you know, we did enough to get a draw. Maybe, you know... They did enough to you know to pick the win up, but which they did do it um, in the end. But we got a, a positive result, um, winning four one at uh, Barrow at home. Uh, Andy Bond, um, Yes and Fortune, Danny Rowe got two. You know we played very well again, beaten for possession. Um, we'll just look at Andy Bond's goal. <coughs> we we played very well in this game. You know it was a great response. As you see, Richard picks a ball to Montrose. Boom, it hits. <laughs> he hits the bar, but luckily it rebounds to his feet, you know, and he took the goal. And I've got a, um, a lone player fortune from Arsenal, um, under-18s, which is, is a good player. But he scored this goal um, a couple of minutes later, you know. Um, in the 26th minute, he got injured. So we'll have a look at his goal. Decent build-up play. Great ball by Richards. Harder. Finds Fortune. You know, it's one of them. It's a give and go. Look, look where he is. He's in midfield there. Bondy picks the ball up. Look at Fortune. Just back in his position there. And I thought they were going to hit us on the counter attack. They did do. Great ball by Mendelssohn. Edmondson to Bond. Great football, you know. It's one touch, one touch passing. Near enough, near enough anyway. 
But, you know, it worked extremely hard for this goal. It was good play. You know, look at the... If you see here, look at the passing. You know, it's beautiful ball. Finds harder to Fortune. And, you know, he tucks it away. Great goal. And we uh, went 2 0. Like I say, he did get injured then. But, you know, Danny Rowe come on in the um, 26th minute. And he got his first goal in the 37th minute. Again, another exquisite goal. You know, Danny Rowe is finishing on uh, his 15. So when he's on one on one with that keeper, nine times out of ten, he's burying it. But great running there by Arda. Beats his man with ease. Look at that. It didn't even look like he touched it. <laughs> and Danny Rowe just slots his first goal of the game. Um, and then he gets another goal. Uh, the, lads, the damage was done in the first half. You know, it was 4 0 up by half time. They did get um, one back, a consolation in the 61st minute. But we'll look at um, Danny Rowe's next goal. Which another one was a quite smart goal. I'm just pinging the ball over, trying to look for that long ball to find the target, man. Fantastic. That is a, one of the best passes you'll see. And he heads it. The keeper catches it, but he fumbles and it goes into the back of the net. So, yeah, the damage was done there. A great response. Um, and then we played Halifax Town and, you know, we lost. Um, they scored in the sixth minute and that, that was it. It was a quite even game, you know. We did... We, have the best of um, possession, 56% to their 44. We was away from home, you know, uh, we did get a defeat, but, you know, I thought the... I don't mind, you know, if we're getting beat, as long as we're putting the performances in, and, we, you know, we're working hard. It's, um, I, I'm happy with that, and like I say, we're 10th um, in the league currently, 12 points, you know, we're only th three points away from getting into sixth place, depending, you know, on other results we could get in the playoffs. You know, I know it's it's only the beginning of the season, but, you know, it'd be great, you know, if we can hang about, you know, in the um, top half of the table this season, brilliant. And just, you know, if, if you're thinking about doing teams, being a team in a low league division, I would highly recommend AFC Fylde, not only because it's my local team, and um, it's the fact that they had a, a rich club, the owner, you know, he tried to buy Liverpool, uh, Liverpool, no, he tried to buy um, Blackpool, obviously, Oyston didn't want to sell, but he's a local lad from the Kirkham area in Preston. Um, is their ch uh, AFC Files chairman? Um, so you, I started the season off. I got uh, ten thousand pounds to spend, something like three thousand pound on, on a wage budget. Now I wanted a player. I had him on loan. It turned out when I've signed him, he's only a two star ability, two star potential. But he was a two star ability with a four-star potential, so, you know, I made the deal, um, I couldn't offer him the wages, so I went into my board, asked for extra transfer funds, he gave me £600,000, £600,000, it's over half a million for a non-league team, and I think it was £15,000 wage budget, obviously I narrowed it down, so I ended up with it, so I could have, you know, more wage budget, which is huge for non-league football, at £26,500, um, got seventy-three thousand pounds to spend. I just couldn't believe it. Look at that: six hundred and forty-six thousand, six hundred and fourteen pound transfer budget, guys. That is amazing. With a fifteen thousand pound um, wage budget, which is still great. You know, I can get you know what I want there. Fit fit for the league, for the league bases anyway. Well, if I put it all the way down, I got twenty-eight thousand pounds. You don't even know how to get League One sides that get this much. So definitely, guys, um, definitely recommend in doing this. You know, I've got all my youth set up now. Not really got the players yet for the youth system. Um, oh, there he is, Callum Lee's. Yeah, his potential is um, a four-star. So I've got him in. He's he's looking good. He's got decent physicals there. As a defender, I would like him to be a lot stronger with a bit better uh, stamina. But we are playing non-league football, guys, so you got to take that into account. But his tackling is out of this world on the 12, and he's marking 13. His decision-making is key as well, which is 13, which is good. And he's only a young lad. He's, he's 18 years old, so it's a, um, a good buy. These are not... Under 18 players, I'll just make a point of that now. These are just playing for the under 18s. You know, if you look at the ages, they are, what, 20, 
Um, a lot of these are, are adults, you know, look, it's 26. So I haven't really invested in the youth yet, which I would like to do. Maybe do a, a trial day, something like that. <clears throat> so we'll see, we'll see how we get on. But anyway, guys, we've got, as I said, um, I do the second episode when we're at Bromley. So we're going to play this game out now. We're at home. I think these are bottom of the table, aren't they? Yeah, bottom of the table. You can't see because my, my camera's in the way. But yeah, the bottom of the league. You see there, 24th in the Vanarama. they got Roger Johnson. Wow. I'm going to try and snap him. Try and get him. I'll try to sign it. I'll, I'm going to put a scout on him. Roger, bloody hell. A former Premier League footballer. It's crazy, isn't it? I'm sure he could play in a high division on what he's doing. His last time he was in the Premier League was with West Ham in 2013-14 season. He was on loan. He played four games. Um, yeah, so then he went to the Championship. Played for Pune, which I believe is an Indian side. And then two seasons at Charlton in the Championship and League One. And then he's ended up in the National League. But the standard of the National League, guys... He's, wow, it's out of this world. Like I say, I've been going to watch AFC Fylde and they have been playing some football. And just the standard in general is just out of this world. It's amazing. So, I'm not too shocked about Roger Johnson being in the National League because it's it's a very good league. It's competitive. It's physical. It's, it's a great league. It's an absolute great league. Um, if you need to see the signings I made this season, like I say, go and look at episode one. Guys, you know, I am new to doing this, so, you know, I might have not have the best voice. Um, I may stutter a little bit. Just nerves, really. You know, I'm an honest guy. Um, I'm trying my best. Um, if there's any tips you can give me um, to be a better YouTuber, anything you'd like me to see me do, anything you don't want me, you don't want to see me do, just put it down in the comments. Honestly, your opinion matters to me. You know, if I can improve myself at any way I can, then, you know, that's brilliant if you can help me out. Yeah, it is India. Right, anyway. So we're going to get to our tactics now. We've got Joe Doyle. I'm going to put... Tony Cliff's going to come in there. Johnny Smith. Right, let's put him there. Um, we're going to go ball winning midfield to support... We've got Bonder as a boxer box midfielder and Jones as the advanced playmaker. Two wing I did have him on inside forwards, but I think they've been making more of an impact as a winger. Obviously, they've not got the best attributes, so being an inside forward is probably going to be quite difficult for them to do. You know, it's I've grown my, my squad significantly. You know, it was quite a small squad. There's some great players in this squad that, you know, can't get in the team right now. Um, they've just got to wait for the chance and hopefully the um, to capitalise on them opportunities. Uh, we've got Montrose here. What do we do with him? He can play there as a ball box to box. He's got the teamwork and he's got the work rate for a box to box. I may give him a shot, but Bond is in good form right now, so um, I'm gonna. I think I'll just keep it like that for now. But if you see there, Danny Rose five goals this season. Fantastic. For a non-league footballer, finishing 15 is great. Off the ball, 12. Strength. I, I believe his strength should be a lot higher than that because the games I've seen him play, he holds a ball up very well. And he is a physical guy. And he's, he's, that doesn't justify his pace. He's not fast, but he's not slow. So I'd probably give him a 12 on each uh, because he's, he's, um, he's not a slow player. He's a strong player. He's a big guy. Um, but if you look there, 135 appearances and 202 goals, which, <coughs> sorry, it's a very good, very good. So anyway, we're going to get into this game now. I'm just looking at the final stuff and I'm quite happy with that. I might go for Lynchy today. Yep. Yeah. Right, let's get straight into the game, guys. And obviously, if you want to see what tactics I've been using, um, pause the screen now, have a look at my team instructions or watch episode one. Um, I go in, in in depth on on that. So we're at home today against Bromley. They're playing a standard four four two. It's going to be quite hard to break down, but you know, 
we, we do have the work rate, so yeah, I found out how to do individual team talks now, so that's all good. I'm going to go on passionate. Um, let's give a performance. I don't want to big us up too much saying we should be winning this because in this league it's unforgiving. Any team can beat anyone. So, you know, let's give the fans a performance that they're respected of us here. Um, then we're going to go on defence and put passionate. And I think there's a lot more to come from you. Same again with the midfield. You know, anything I can do just to boost the morale. Um, yeah, that would be key. Yeah, I'm going to end the team talk. You seem motivated, the rapper. So we should be in for a good game. And team's coming out. <clears throat> They've just got a brand new stadium, which was set up last season. If you want to check that out, just go, you know, go on Google. Fantastic um, little stadium for a non-league team. Really good. So I'm just going to go on instructions. I'm going to tell them to encourage. Put there. All positions confirm. But here's Smith on the ball. He's looking for some help. He doesn't get it, but he beats his man. Can you get a decent crossing? He does. Rowan could have nearly picked it. Oh, good save by the keeper. It's gone out for a corner. That's a good start to the game after only eight minutes in. <coughs> Richards, the right back with a cross. Poor corner. A poor corner. Well, here come Bromley on the counter attack. Dodd, great, great tackle there by Angol. And cuts the, the game out. Decent form. You know, if you can get three points today, that's going to massively help us out we need to capitalize on these kind of games you know with him being bottom of the league oh here we go he's advancing there great inception Rowie picks the ball up he's looking for some advances finds bonder bond can he get it out wide cuts inside to jones he's give that away and here, here come bromley again on the counter but it's rudely intercepted here comes danny Rowe. that's kicked away being quite dominant in the midfield here. Roll picks the ball. Can he get it out wide? A give and go. Oh, he cuts it inside to Bondi. Finds Bondi. About wide to Hardy. Hardy shoots. <sighs> Just wide of the post. Boo saying they're playing well. You know, keep it up and the result, result will come. Um, Yeah, it's not a bad first half. That's 62% possession to 38. But like I said, we've got to capitalise on this. So I'm going to go passionate. Keep going out there. You can win this one. Um... And over to the assistant, whatever he's got to say, blah, blah, blah. End the team talk. Let's get in there. Now, I'm going to go again. Encourage the boys. All positions. So, we're, we're into the second half of the game. And here comes Dennis. Can Hardy breaks play up. It's gone out for a throw-in. That could be the end of that one. Yeah, but I'm really enjoying this save with uh, Fylde. I cannot believe the wage budget I got. £600,000 for a non-league side. You don't get that in championship football with some teams. Or League 1, League 2. You don't get that. So the money's there. The backing's there. It's, you know, you've just got to get the team up, I guess. We're going to make a sub. I'm going to see what we can do. Oh, let me go more the... Right, I've got Montrose. I'm going to bring him on for Davenport. Put Muldoon on. I say that Hard is playing quite well. No, I'm going to bring him off. <clears throat> we need to get three points here. But Bromley've got a corner. Porter whips it in. It's a good deliverer. Johnson comes up away from Bond. Can he close the man down? Redmond's un unmarked. Two on him. Montrose picks the box. No, it's a. It's a free kick in a dangerous area, this. I hope the keeper's got his wall well. He's screaming the goalkeeper. Don't cross it in great. Hey, that was a great block there. Great defensive work. And it's gone out for a throw in. Ten minutes ago. I might just up it up um I need to go attacking here. Try and put it on him. to put him up um, damn I have a still have an injured player on the pitch how can I take him off Oh, that's not good. 
That is not good. <coughs> Jones with the whip ball then finds Sonny Cliff. And it, oh, is that a penalty? It is. It's a penalty to Fylde in the 86th minute. We have got, we've picked an habit of scoring late and good teams score late. I just hope he can bury this. He's got the composure. Jack Muldoon will take this penalty. Takes a deep breath. Yes, it gets in. 1 0 to filed in 86th minute. Right. I need to. I'm going to go on. I'm going to go on the counter. Just sit back slightly. Trying to uh, defend this lead. I'll take the 1 0. Take the 1 0 all day. Really gutted this by um, Danny Rowe because of potential foot injury. I hope it's not long. Muldoon comes in. Smashes it home. Get, see what I mean? Six minutes added time. We score in the 95th minute. This has been our season. You know, we score late or we concede late. It's just, it's it's mad. It's quite bizarre. But yeah. That was a bad camera angle. We couldn't even get to see the replay. 2-0 though. I'm, I'm happy with that. Two late goals. You can't complain with that. As long as I get the win. That's all that matters. You've got <laughs> old man grand up front. Shh. I'm just trying, I'm in the process at the minute of getting a good striker um, from Tramia. So we'll see, maybe in the next episode we'll find out, you know, if I do get to sign him. But yeah, 2-0, up here, that's good that. I'm really concerned about Danny Rowe being out injured though. Uh, passionate. I'm very pleased with the result and the performance. Anything for the assistant manager to say. And the team saw everyone delighted. That's that's what you like to see in a happy dressing room. An happy dressing room. Danny Rowe injured three to four weeks. Pulled ankle ligaments. Now this is gonna be a concern now because I have Fortune who's out injured also. And he's out for another four days. So when is my next game? My next game is in three days against Macclesfield. I think we're going to be back for the cup game. Episode 3 is going to be the fourth qualifying round of the FA Cup, which in real life filed put out Wrexham in the fourth round. Um, we're in the first round of the FA Cup now, playing Kidderminster Harriers on Saturday. <coughs> but yeah, we'll be back for episode 3 for the fourth round qualifier of the FA Cup. Um... These games, I'll show you some of the highlights. As a, um, yeah, show you some of the highlights on these, um, how we got on and that. Hopefully, we won't get too many of these red circles, these defeats. We can get some draws and wins. These are winnable games. This is going to be a tough game against Macclesfield. East left, I think we should pick points up. If we can get a draw with Woking, that'd be great. If we can get anything against Leighton Orient, that again, that'll be good. We should get some at, at um, Gateshead. And I believe we're good enough to beat uh, Sutton, Sutton United. So these points there to be picked up. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Um, like I say, it's a new series. This is episode two. Um, episode three will be tomorrow. I'll be doing daily uploads. If you can, please hit that like button. Share. Please subscribe. Please hit that bell button so you're notified every time I upload. If you don't like my content, you don't like what I do, that's fair enough. Um... I would also still like for you to leave a comment down below. Uh, maybe say, you know, what things I'm, I'm doing wrong. Um, and I'd like a bit of positive feedback um, if, if I'm doing anything right. But if you didn't enjoy it, you know, um, I'm, there's a lot of um, YouTubers who play the game. Um, just keep watching them. I'm trying, guys. I can only get better, I hope. Um, but, yeah, if you can stick around, it's going to be an exciting series. I'm going from non-league... And I'm going to try and get us to the Prem. And that's what it's about. I want to see positivity. I want to see a change. Rather than being a big team, you know, trying to win. I'm going to be Man City and win the league. I want to build something. So I hope you can stick around. But anyway, until next time, guys, peace. Want to play with me? All you need is a PC.